This is Lesson 118 in Saxon Algebra 1 half, second edition. And this lesson is on probability. All right, so we've all flipped coins. And we've all spun a spinner. And you know that when you flip a coin, there's only two outcomes, heads or tails. So every time you flip it, you have a one in two chance of getting one or the other. On the spinner here, we have a 1 in 4 chance of getting any one particular number. We have a 1 in 4 chance of getting a 3, say for instance, because there's only one 3 out of 4 different out possible outcomes. On a die, a single die, you have 6 different faces, each with a different number, 1 through 6. Now. The probability of getting a number greater than 4 on one roll of this die is the number of outcomes that are greater than 4 divided by the total number of outcomes. Well, the total number of outcomes are, let's see, greater than 4, there's only 2, 5 and 6. So, there are two possibilities for a number greater than 4, so 2 out of a possible 6 and that, as a fraction, reduces to 1 in 3. So you have a 1 in 3 chance of rolling a number greater than 4. A deck of playing cards contains 52 cards. 13 are spades, 13 are hearts, 13 are clubs, and 13 are diamonds. Just like this, okay? Now Jimmy tears up the ace of spades. Now there are only 51 cards in the deck, right? He shuffles the deck and he draws one of those 51 cards out. What is the probability that the card is a spade? Well, if he started out with 13 spades and he tore one of those up, now there are only 12. And there are 12 out of a total of 51. So we can say that 12 out of 51, and that reduces, if you divide by 3, to 4 out of 17. So he has a 4 in 17 probability of drawing a spade. All right, so we're going to pretend that this set of dies are green and these are red. So one die is red, the other is green. We roll both. <coughs> So what is the probability of getting A, a sum of 7, B, a sum of 4? So I've got this table here. We're going to look at the table and, and see every possible outcome. You can see that 6 squares have a total of 7. Now there are 36 squares in all. So we have 6 out of 36, or a 1 in 6 chance of rolling a 7, a sum of 7. Alright, how about a sum of 4? Well, there are only 3 4's out of 36. So, for that, we can say we only have a 1 in 12 probability. Alright, here we have marbles in a bowl, and I know they're not all the right color for this, but it gives you an idea. So there are 16 marbles in the bowl. Three are red, six black, and seven green. Jimmy takes one marble from the bowl. What is the probability that the marble is either red or black? Well, let's see. We have three red and six black for a total of nine out of 16. So the probability is 9 in 16 that he will get either a red or a black. Alright, coming back to our chart, let's say that this is green up here and these on the side are red. A red die and a green die are rolled at the same time. What is the probability of getting an 11? Well, we have an 11 here and here, so we only have two chances out of 36, which will reduce to 1 
in 18. Alright, good job. Hopefully this will be an easy, easy lesson for you. And um, I'll see you next time for lesson 119.